Championship Saturday and girls hoops at Pinnacle Bank Arena. The main event for the third year in a row in Class B, Elkhorn North and Scott Catholic. The Wolves looking for a four-peat in part three of the trilogy lived up to the hype. All eyes on Britt Prince, the future Husker. Fast forward to the second half, Peyton McCabe rattles home a step back three to give Scott a nine-point lead. Elkhorn North responds, Kara Cudlats offensive board, got it! Her and one ties the game up at 42 apiece. Britt Prince getting to her spot. She had a team high 17 to put the Wolves up two with one minute remaining. McCabe, another big time corner triple on the other end, ties it at 47 with 20 seconds left. Reese Booth makes a pair of free throws to put Elkhorn North up two. Final seconds, Molly Ladwig gets a look, but it doesn't drop. Elkhorn North does it again, make it four straight Class B titles. It was gritty, it was tough. Um, it was so physical, um, you know, you're just getting thrown around out there. And, and the girls didn't put their heads down and pout about that. They just kept playing through it. You know, obviously, to win four titles in a row, I don't know if these girls, if, I, I don't know if it sunk in to them or me. It probably won't for a while, how special that is. How about this? Four years as a school, four titles. Britt Prince finishes her historic high school career second on the state's all-time scoring list and cutting down the nets again. The Class C2, UTAN looking for its first state title against undefeated Crofton. Mora Takoda with the steal passes up to Jade Lewis who finishes. Chieftains looking good early. Now it's Haley Kuby who dishes to Takoda. All the students there excited supporting their team. Bucket and the foul. She had 16 and Sister Miley a game high 19 points. She gets the layup to fall at the buzzer. Congrats to the Chieftains win their first ever state title convincingly, I might add, 55-36.